We love the Northern California Conference. And today we highlight the churches, schools, and ministries of Northern California. Hi, I'm Connie Vandeman Jeffrey, and this is All God's People. Well, it was San Francisco that saw the first presence of Adventists in California. It was within the territory of Northern California Conference that the real work began. Evangelists John Loughborough and Daniel Bordeaux held tent meetings in Petaluma in 1868, invited by a group of independent Christians. In spite of public opposition, 20 people accepted the Adventist message. Loughborough and Bordeaux continued holding evangelistic meetings in Sonoma County. Santa Rosa proved to be very open to the message, and the first Adventist church was erected in Santa Rosa in 1869. They established the first Adventist organization there with D.T. Bordeaux as president. When the committee was formed, Bordeaux reported, When we came to Petaluma, we knew of but one in this county who was keeping the Sabbath. Now we know at least 75. My, how the work has grown from its humble beginnings 150 years ago. As of June 30, 2020, there were 40,932 members in the Northern California Conference with 164 congregations. Aside from Adventist Health St. Helena, the oldest operational Adventist hospital, a number of other Adventist healthcare institutions operate in Northern California. Elmshaven, Ellen White's last home, is located near St. Helena in the Northern California Conference. During her life, she completed about 40 books, including the nine major works she wrote in the upper writing room at Elmshaven. The first steps in the creation of Pacific Union College began in 1882 when Sidney Brownsberger started a school at Healdsburg with just 28 students. This became Healdsburg College in 1899. Ellen White was very much involved in the search for a new location when expansion was needed. And in 1909, the church bought the Angwin Resort, located just eight miles from St. Helena. Pacific Union College was dedicated there on September 29, 1909. And this week on September 14, PUC resumed classes with a hybrid course of instruction that is mostly virtual. And now, in recent weeks, Northern California is on the national news once again, due to the horrific fires. Thousands were forced to evacuate their homes as a result of the LNU Lightning Complex fire, the third largest wildfire in California to date. Unfortunately, some of our church families, including several of our NCC employees, lost their homes and or businesses, said Conference President Mark Woodson. We have been in contact with them and continue to hold them up in prayer during this really difficult time. The North Complex West Zone Fire, formerly the Bear Fire, experienced a quick moving and devastating fire run on Wednesday, September 9, that forced the immediate evacuation of thousands of residents and caused a number of deaths. Northern California Conference Adventist Community Services Director James Lim has been in contact with the leaders of the Oroville, Golden Feather, Paradise, and Chico Churches. These leaders are members of the Intra-Church Fire Relief Committee, which was organized after the 2018 campfire. During the recent evacuation, some Northern California Conference churches and schools served as resource centers for evacuees. The Northern California Conference is keeping their members up to date on all the important news about the impact on churches and schools through their website. Just days after the schools reopened online or in person, Associate Superintendent of Schools Linnell Ingham visited Middletown Adventist School, where teaching principal Cindy Westenrider has set up her classroom in an open-sided pole barn on the campus. I love this unique classroom and these enthusiastic teachers and students. For the past decade, people in the small city of Willows, located in Glen County, relied on the community's main food bank operated by a Baptist church. When that congregation could no longer keep the food bank open, they asked the Adventist Community Services Director if the Willows Adventist Church would take over. With a 17-member congregation of mostly senior citizens and only eight ACS volunteers, the members weren't sure they could take on the new responsibility. But after much prayer, they felt compelled to answer the call to serve, and they stepped out in faith, believing God had a plan. They were right. The ACS inherited the food bank supplies and bank account. In addition, many community churches, businesses, schools, and individuals continue to donate money and food. Last year, the Willows ACS served about 20 people once a month, but now its weekly food bank services an average of 570 people each month. What an awesome way to serve Willows ACS. 
This story will be in the October Recorder and you can read it at the link in our bulletin. Beginning in 2018, the NCC Youth Department held its Summer on the Run Mobile Day Camp program at a number of churches and at Redwood Camp Meeting. This summer, the challenge was finding ways to continue the program's positive impact online. Well, a team of high school students, college students, sponsors, and a few family members sheltered in place together for six weeks to create 15 Summer on the Run videos. Each video contains the best parts of day camp, music, crafts, nature, skits, discussions, and spiritual messages focused on a theme. The team did everything themselves, including writing scripts, building sets, making costumes, acting, and filming and editing. So far, the videos have been viewed more than 1,500 times, and you can find all 15 videos on their YouTube channel. The link is in our bulletin. The NCC executive officers issued the following joint statement on June 3, 2020. As leaders of the Northern California Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, we join our brothers and sisters in Christ by publicly standing against racism and injustice. We feel silence is complicity. No matter how difficult and uncomfortable, we must individually and collectively break down the walls of separation that destroy the essential rights of human dignity, self-worth, and freedom in our region and in our churches. And we must communicate with a unified voice, sense of urgency, and unwavering commitment that intolerance, violence, discrimination, and marginalization are unacceptable. You can read the entire statement at the link in our bulletin. Willie Johnson, African American Ministries Coordinator and Urban Ministries Director, said this. I'm proud to share with you that our urban churches have joined together with their neighbors and faith leaders in protesting peacefully and prayerfully against the racial injustice in their communities. I am extremely proud of our pastors and members, especially our youth and young adults, who have stepped forward and organized peaceful protests in the cities of Stockton, Sacramento, Vallejo, Fairfield, and Oakland. Thank you, Pastor Johnson, and thank you, Northern California Conference, for your powerful statement against racism. Battling the effects of devastating fires, dealing with a deadly pandemic, standing for justice, feeding the hungry, caring for members, and teaching our children. Northern California Conference is at the forefront of engaging with compassion and hope for the future. In 2 Chronicles 15:7, we read, but you take courage, do not let your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. Courage to you, Northern California Conference, and courage to all God's people. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you back here next week.